Whether it's the Italian bond market seeing bond yields go up, whereas Swiss bond yields are making new lows, the divergence there today in European rates is one thing that concerns people. What happens when the low man, low man, or low woman, in Switzerland is making lower lows and stocks don't go up in accordance with the prior cowbell? Oh, and then the country with the most credit risk, or at least one of them, Italy, sees bond yields go up at the same time. Now, bond proxies, what if they have priced something in? Now, that's the one thing that I'm interested in making some sales in. I sold some utilities, some REITs, I'll sell some more today. Sell some around your core position. Sell some. You don't just go all or none unless this is your first day risk managing a fully allocated uh, asset allocation. What if the same reaction is what we saw in Europe? Not only are we pretty close to the top end of the range on something like VNQ, just north of the middle of the range in utilities, I'll sell some if you don't mind. That's the way that I risk manage into events where I can see that the street is leaning one way, which is we think we should just buy the cowbell all of the time. When the US is in quad four and any other countries in quad four, you short their currency against the dollar because the dollar goes up in quad four, whereas the British pound goes down in quad four. If you are short of them, uh, you're beyond the loan of the range, which is an even better spot to book gains. And that's what we do at the loan of the range. You book some gains on the short side,